Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and this is the rematch I had with Tiago D14. I'm using the exact same Pokemon as our first battle, as my opponent has changed out some of their Pokemon. But some of them are the same, like the Ditto, the Frostlass, and the Porygon Z. But the other Pokemon, they weren't there for the first battle. And I'm going to go ahead and start the battle. Um, I'm pretty sure my opponent will probably most likely lead with um, the Spirit Tomb, but I don't really have anything for the Spirit Tomb. So what I do is I just led with the Dragonite, hoping to get as much damage as I can. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to go for Will-O-Wisp, and I just wanted to get some attack power up, getting ready for that. And as my opponent does go for the Will-O-Wisp, I didn't have anything that I wanted to take that Will-O-Wisp. Um, I, I could have brought in the Typhlosion, but I don't want it to take a Sucker Punch or a Shadow Sneak. So I think sticking in with the Dragonite was probably the best play here. Um, I just go for another Dragon Dance to get my attack back up to his natural attack stat as my opponent goes with the Taunt. So now I'm stuck into attacking moves and my opponent can go for the Sucker Punch freely. But I just go ahead and go for the Outrage, trying to get as much damage as I can before my Dragonite goes down. I know it's kind of sad that my number one attacking Pokemon on my team is going down so early in the game, but I didn't really have anything for the Spirit Tomb, and I just wanted to get as much damage as I can for the next Pokemon I bring in. So here I actually bring in the Muck, and I'm wondering if I'm able to hit it with a Shadow Sneak and take it out. I was contemplating bringing the Typhlosion for the Will-O-Wisp, but in my head I thought maybe the Shadow Sneak would be able to take it out. But unfortunately, my second really good physical attacker is now burnt. So now I'm just going to go for the knockoff. Um, I know I'm going to take a Sucker Punch, but Muck is able to take a Sucker Punch very well because Muck is just that bulky. And I go ahead and go for the knockoff just in case he switches out. Um, it'll be enough to take out the Spirit Tomb. So either way, the Spirit Tomb's going down. Either that or something's going to lose its item. So now my opponent brings in the Togedemaru. And Togedemaru has the Air Balloon. So here, um, there's not much Togedemaru can do to Steelix. So I feel very confident that I can just bring in Steelix and set up the Stealth Rocks. Um, I'm going to take a Fake Out, but I know Fake Out's not going to do much to Steelix. My opponent's going to go for the Spiky Shield, I guess expecting the Earthquake, or, but Earthquake wouldn't have done anything. Maybe expecting like the Heavy Slam to break the Air Balloon. But I just go for the Stealth Rocks. And this Steelix is actually a Choice Bandit set. It's Choice Bandit, but has um, Stealth Rocks. And that might be silly to have that, but I have that just... just um because Choice Banded Steelix does a lot of damage. Here, I'm just going to switch back into Muck. My opponent actually goes for the Encore, but since I switched back into Muck, it's not going to do much um, there. I'm just going to go for a knockoff and take the Zing Zap, and that way I can get rid of the Air Balloon, and um, Steelix will be able to come in and finish up the Togedemaru whenever I need it to. I'm going to actually bring Steelix in now, because I've seen the moves that this thing has. It's nothing that really can do anything to Steelix. Steelix is the perfect counter to this Pokemon here. So I'm going to bring Steelix in, that way I can save my um, Muck and spam Earthquake until I take it out because Spiky Shield is not going to protect it forever. So my opponent actually switches out into the Ditto now and since I've got the Stealth Rocks up, it's going to bring Ditto's de um, HP down a little bit so that way it's sturdy once it um, transforms into my Steelix, it's sturdy, will not keep it alive. So I'm just going to go for a Choice Banded Earthquake. And there's not really that much investment on the attack of this thing. That just gives you an idea of how, how good Choice Band is at taking out a lot of threats. So now my opponent brings in the Malamar. I'm kind of scared of Malamar because it usually has like Super Power or stuff like that. The moves that normally would lower um, stats but on Malamar it actually raises its stats. So it's actually going to go for the super power, get a defense boost, get an attack boost. Steelix is super, super bulky. 
So even though it's super effective, it barely does anything. But I'm going to get an Earthquake, and Malamar's going to live that fairly well. And I'm pretty sure if it gets another superpower, it'll still be able to live another Earthquake. But my opponent actually goes for the rest. So that's kind of scary for me, because now this thing can actually heal itself up. And Steelix is going to have a very hard time taking this thing out. So now I'll just go for the Earthquake once again. Trying to get its HP to back down. Um, that's really my whole plan here. Try to bring its HP down where I can take it out before it goes for another rest. Um, but this thing actually has Sleep Talk. And that actually surprised me. Luckily for me though, um, it uses rest here, which is already asleep, so that's not going to do anything for it. And I just go for another Earthquake, and looking at how much damage this does, I'm kind of thinking it might be able to take out Malamar with one more Earthquake. It's a very, very, um, a, it, it's kind of up in the air if that would work or not. But I'm just going to go for Earthquake, because there's not really a reason to switch, because Steelix can take the superpower fairly well and nothing really wants to take the choice banded earthquake so my opponent brings in the porygon z it's going to be able to take it out with one hit so that's really nice for my steelix so now the the frost Lass comes back and this is the exact same frost Lass as the first one i'm pretty sure um, but my opponent's actually going to go for the Destiny Bond, and that's actually a really good play for my opponent because it's going to be a, a really reliable way to take out the Steelix, because it's pretty clear that Steelix is going to sweep if my opponent doesn't have a way to get rid of the Steelix. And this is actually the way to get rid of Steelix here. So Steelix is going to go down to the Destiny Bond, and my opponent's going to bring out the Malamar, and my opponent only has two Pokemon left, I'm going to actually bring in my Typhlosion. I'm going to try to sweep up the game with Typhlosion now. So here, I could either go for the Z Sunny Day, since this is a Z Sunny Day set, but I'm actually just going to go for the Fire Blast. I don't want this thing to use Sleep Talk and hit me with um, a Super Power, because that will do a lot of damage to Typhlosion, and I'm kind of scared of that. So I'm just going to do that, and here, I don't want to miss the Fire Blast. So actually my opponent's actually going to go for Fake Out first. And that's okay because I'm pretty certain that this game is already won here. Um, I know my opponent's probably going to go for the Spiky Shield. So I'm going to actually pop my Z Crystal. And I'm actually going to use Inferno Overdrive instead of a Z Sunny Day. Because there's not really a reason to go for Z Sunny Day now. Because Inferno Overdrive will be enough to take this thing out even with the Spiky Shield. It's going to go down to a Z, um, I mean, uh, Inferno Overdrive from the Fire Blast. And it's going to be enough to completely demolish this Togedomaru. So that was a pretty good game there. Um, my opponent tried out different tactics, but um, I was able to play around it. And Typhlosion came in at the end and finished up the game. But I think the MVP here was Steelix. Steelix completely thrown a wrench into my opponent's plans for this team. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next battle video. And don't forget to check out my Twitch. This is where I've been recording these battles. So go ahead, check them out, and I'll see you in the next video.